Ab means from, away from, and Ad means toward, increase. So these two are opposites. When you abduct someone, you are taking them away. Aberrant means uh, something is away from normal. Abduct, also used in a medical term, means the arms were at the person's side and then the person raises their arms up so that the arms are away from the body. Adduct is the opposite of that. Adduct, the person, the person puts their arms down at their sides. Ambi and amphi sound very alike and they mean virtually the same thing, both, both sides, double. So ambidextrous, I'm sure you know that means somebody can write as well with the left as the right hand. Amphibious, think of um, a creature like a frog that can live on both sides, can live on both the water and the land at some point in its life. Now, anti with an E, anti spelled with an E, means before or in front. So, anticubital literally means pertaining to before or in front of the elbow. And cubito means elbow. And the, um, we use cubital because the elbow is a cube shaped bone. Circum means around. So, circumoral pertaining to around the mouth. DE has many different meanings. It can mean down, from, stop, or cessation. So two little letters, um, so many different meanings. Descend, you go down the stairs. Dementia is the cessation of mental processes. It's actually the slowing, but liter um, for D, the cessation, stopping, makes the most sense. Now, dia is a prefix that means through or across. Gnosis, G-N-O-S-I-S, means knowledge. So diagnosis literally means knowledge through, knowledge through something. So we can gain knowledge through testing to find out what's wrong with the patient. Ecto means outside or outward, as an ectopic, and you probably know an ectopic pregnancy is one that is outside the uterus where it is supposed to be. Indo, I'm going indos, uh, with in, inner, in. So endocervical, literally pertaining to within the cervix. Now again, for your future information, cervix can be two different things. Cervix can be the neck. You might have heard of a cervical collar someone has to wear if they have whiplash. Cervix is also part of the female reproductive system. The cervix is the neck of the uterus. Endoscope is uh, an instrument and we use an endoscope to view within the patient's body or to view the inner body. Now epi it's kind of controversial around here. Their textbook says epi means upon and over. And the other instructors are very insistent this is what it means. It cannot mean above. I've been doing this so long, I'm like some battles I'm willing to give up. So if you want to say epi means above in my class, you are free to do so. Now if you take midterm two um, and the instructor disagrees, well, instructor rules. So I will let us say epi means above. And again, it seems to make more sense to average Joe and Jane. So epigastric literally pertaining to upon or over above the stomach. X, exo, extra. Um, they all have X, which means out. So the definitions are some variation of the word out. 
So x out away from outside. So extract, we pull something out. Exhale, we're breathing outward. Exo, outside outward, as in exogenous. Exogenous means growing or originating from outside an organism. Because again, gen genus is a variation of genesis, formation, production, um, creation. So exogenous is growing outside the organism. Extra, extra, read all about it. Uh, so outside or beyond. So extra hepatic, literally pertaining to outside or beyond the liver. So hepato, he patted his liver. Suffix is ick, I see. In means in, inside, within, or not. So intubate means that we are putting a tube in someone, typically to help them breathe. Infra means beneath, below, or under. So infrapatellar is referring to below or beneath the patella, which is your kneecap. Infraorbital is referring to below or beneath the orbit, which is the socket of the eye, the eye socket. Enter means between, as in intercostal. Now please watch your pronunciation. This is intercostal. This is not intercostal. It's intercostal. Pertaining to between the ribs. So now intercostal um, is that body of water that runs up and down our coast from New York all the way down to Miami or someplace that uh, people can travel on to, uh, to go from north to south without having to get into the Atlantic Ocean. So now um, people around here, myself included, uh, were brought up to say intercoastal, but if you look at the signs um, there on the highway, um, it's actually intracoastal, but be that as it may. So enter between intercoastal pertaining to between the ribs. Intra means within, so intravenous, um, pertaining to within the vein. Now please note that you, in the word intravenous, if you leave that you out, the word is misspelled. So intravenous, I believe, is a spelling word. Don't forget that you. Juxta, it's near or beside. So she was juxta near me, she was juxta beside me. So juxta articular, literally pertaining to, near or beside a joint. Now notice that it's okay that we have those two A's right next to each other. We don't need a hyphen. Um, and again, juxta is a prefix. Articular is the word we're adding juxta to. And it doesn't matter that articular begins with a vowel. If you have a prefix, you just slap it on to whatever is there. Meso means middle. So mesoderm is referring to the middle layer of skin. Now please, please note that this term violates our rules. Every medical term should have a suffix. Every medical term should have a root. But mesoderm ends with the root derm. So this is one of those uh, exceptions that um, for some reason um, the word should have been mesoderma but for some reason that letter A got lost in history. So just pretend this doesn't violate the rules. Uh, so pretend it does not exist except for knowing that meso means middle and derm means skin. So now para can be um, para the suffix can be a whole medical word or a suffix that refers to having children. Para the prefix 
means near, beside, beyond, or two like parts. So paracervical means uh, pertaining to near or beside the cervix, so the neck, neck of the uterus. We have to look at the context to see which one it means. Paraplegia, two like parts are paralyzed. A paralegal works beside the lawyer. So pick the meaning that best fits the word. Peri is around as in perimeter. Perianal literally pertaining to or around the anus. Pre in front or before. So you know to take a pretest before the real test. Precordial pertaining to before or in front of the heart. Pro is in front or before. So prognosis literally means knowledge before. So a prognosis is the physician's prediction of how things are going to go in the future. Ray and retro um, have similar backgrounds. Ray means back or again. So reactivate, we're activating it again. Retro, backward or behind. So retroflexion, we're bending or flexing something backwards. That could be a good thing. It's probably a bad thing, though, in medical. Retrocecal, literally pertaining to behind the cecum. C-E-C-U-M. Cecum is the first part of the large intestine. So cecum and ye shall find the first part of the large intestine. That's a way to remember what cecum means. Sub, under or below, so you know a submarine is under the water. Sublingual is pertaining to under the tongue. Has the same meaning as hypoglossal. So we have two different words that mean the same thing. So sublingual, hypoglossal. Subcutaneous, cutaneo is talking about the skin. So subcutaneous is one of the layers of skin. It is below the epidermis. Supra, above, over, excessive. So suprapubic means above or over the pubic area, the pubic bones. Trans is across or through, so think transport. Transurethral. Notice how I'm saying that. Transurethral. Um, I am exaggerating the pronunciation so you can hear all the syllables. And if you say the word correctly, then you've got a chance of spelling it correctly. So transurethral. So it's talking about uh, across or through the urethra which is the tube that the urine passes through before it gets to the outside world. Medi um, can be a prefix that means middle and your textbook chose the word medial for this prefix and uh, I'm sorry medial violates our rule that every medical word has a root, every medical word has a suffix so if the suffix is al the prefix is medi, where's the root? Where's the beef, as the old commercial goes? So in order to stay within the rules, I prefer to say that we pulled out the flashcard medio, and we attached it to the suffix al. Super, above, excessive, as in super sensitive, so that person is really sensitive, excessively sensitive. Post, after, behind, the post test, you take after the test. Post Siebel is referring to taking medications after a meal. Anna. Now, Anna um, has very many different meanings, and be careful when you are slicing up, diagramming your medical word. You don't confuse an, a, or an or Anna. Make sure you're picking the correct one of those three
prefixes. So Anna can mean up, toward, apart, not, without, backward. Isn't that wonderful? So anatomy is literally the process of cutting apart. Anaplasia. Plasia is talking about development or formation. So aplasia, aplasia means the structure never developed. Anaplasia, the tissue or cells, they began to grow, began to form, and then something went terribly horribly wrong and they started reverting back to a more primitive form. So think that Anna reverted backwards. Topo and tropo. Now these are not prefixes. You know they are combining forms because they have a slash and a vowel. Um, and um, again, we add things into your flashcards and your lecture notes um, because we need to expand your vocabulary so you can understand some of the words that have been selected for the chapter reading. So topo means place. So topical, we're putting the medication in place. Tropo means turning. So exotropia, we have a condition where the eye is turning outward. So otherwise known as wall eye, the opposite of cross eye.